this is Dr. Reji Kuryan Thomas. He's the CEO of at uh, TO, TOL Biotech USA, uh, bringing over 32 years of experience in technology and business uh, transformation with a strong commitment of improving global communities. Uh, he's passionate about developing sustainable technology aligned with the uh, United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals, right? Uh, he's also a leader and a marketing expert uh, with a diverse background in te technological sciences and engineering. His achievements include being recognized as the world's best and emerging leader uh, at the House of Lords in UK in 2022 in October. Um, so I welcome you once again, Dr. Reji, for this interview. Uh, how are you feeling? Let's let's start with that question first. I'm always uh, feeling good and uh, thank you for the very lovely uh, introduction. Uh, I must say, um, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Reji. Uh, so for, for our audience, uh, Dr. Reji is one of our esteemed uh, uh, panelists. He's a uh, speaker for Agrinex Watson Conference and he'll be joining us in Dubai on 13th and 14th of November. Uh, with the experience, as I've already discussed in the introduction, with the experience that he's bringing, it's our pleasure to have him. Um, let's, let's start with the uh, questions that we have prepared for you because we know you we have been working with you we are in this partnership for a very long period of time now uh, for our audience can you introduce yourself and the company uh, and what are your core missions uh, in the field of agriculture sure uh, thank you thank you once again so i've been uh, fortunate to spend over three decades in a range of leadership roles that have allowed me to combine my passion for technology and my commitment to social and environmental innovation. Currently, I serve as the CEO of TOL Biotech and focused on practical research on some cutting edge technologies to tackle some of the most pressing challenges in agriculture. My journey has been quite diverse, uh, beginning with my tenure in the Indian Navy, where I handled uh, aerospace and marine engineering, advanced technologies, battlegrounds, and data systems. That background gave me a solid foundation in systems thinking, data governance, cybersecurity, which I've since applied to numerous industries, including agriculture. Now, in my work in leadership and strategy, I've also deeply involved in the application of quantum science and AIML technologies. And my expertise in these areas have allowed me to contribute to developing innovations that drive sustainability. For example, I worked extensively on integrating quantum science into agricultural technologies to optimize processes such as water usage and soil regeneration. Furthermore, throughout my career, I've been fortunate to be recognized and awards such as the Stephen Hawking Global Award 2024 for excellence in innovative scientific research and recognition shows that, yes, somewhere, uh, ma'am, I think I'm on the right path. And uh, this role is not just about managing operations, but also envisioning a future where agriculture is deeply intertwined with technological advancements like AI, helping us meet global food security challenges. Thank you. Thank you so much for answering that. Um, I was... I was uh listening to the part that you you were covering regarding the military and i was i was stuck there it's then uh yeah the the expertise uh the experience is a lot about you and that's the reason uh we have approached you for agrinex awards and conference and it's again I, I would i would say it again and again it's our pleasure to have you uh moving on to the second question that i have for you uh since um we know about your work and we have um not personally seen the journey uh because in agriculture, it's um, or anywhere around in, in anywhere around a, any sector, it's not it's never an easy journey for the leader, right? Um, you are a leader in this space. You are you've worked uh, in different different departments. You know what's the history, what what is the journey for everybody out there, young leaders, young minds who are watching this or who will be watching this. Can you please uh, elaborate the challenges that you've faced in this journey? Sure. Yeah. So, TUL Biotech, uh, you know, it's a very forward-thinking organization. And this organization is committed to transform the agri-landscape. Mm -hmm. 
through data driven solutions or innovation or sustainability and our core mission is to enable farmers uh, industries governments to harness the power of technology and improve agricultural productivity while reducing the environmental footprint that's also very important so we believe that technology when applied with sustainability first mindset can be a game changer in agriculture mm-hmm. particularly to this soil degradation water scarcity climate change at the heart of what we do is biochar production now that's a very critical tool for improving soil health enhancing water retention and biochar uh, unknown to many it has over 60 areas it can even make roads it can be used in batteries it can be used in concrete so we have pioneered the use of ai ml algorithms to provide precision farming solutions these can make the farmer data driven decisions he can incorporate on crop planning fertilization or irrigation these were a big challenge uh, for the farmer of today where climate and the farmer does not know the climate of tomorrow in fact in this month in october it's raining globally it is not a very a uh, sign we have seen in the past years so we cannot predict the weather of tomorrow uh, what sets us apart is our ability to integrate these solutions in a way that is scientifically robust and practical this was also a big challenge now we also have magna gas and hyperfusion plasma based waste to energy just imagine any waste that you have it could be plastic it could be wood it could be anything and we have these two technologies made under the arm of a very world famous scientist sir santeri uh, these are very very uh, niche technologies you will hear of in the near future and another cornerstone and a challenge we found was use in the use of blockchain now this we are used to enhance the traceability in agri value chain through a partner quarter now this is a decentralized system this technology allows us to provide transparent verifying data on everything from seed sourcing to carbon sequestration to enable the customers and the producers to understand the environmental effect of these practices of course as you said challenges were there in core but yeah. because of a very strong robust model we've been able to face that and make a difference to the person who deserves the maximum attention and yeah. that's the farmer yeah yeah i i totally agree on that and and the work that you're doing um with 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 the company it's it's um incredible you you also talked about um the climatic change and i know i i believe it it is very important us like working all together in the field of sustainability it is very important to work um on that topic because we take it very lightly and if you see all around the globe right now if if i consider the uh, weather in india it's it's it usually is um winter's time but in this year we are not facing um the the uh, winter coming very soon it's still the heat waves still the planet is burning so yeah i totally agree on that point with you uh now you've you've told us about the biggest challenges i'm very very keen to know what are the key projects or the innovation that you are currently working on because you have informed a lot of things about your company um the right what what is the focus right now what are you working on so sure. so we've got many technologies which have been in the back burner for uh, decades and one of our flagship initiatives is the development of production of premium engineered biochar there are many people making over 350 companies making biochar but this is something that is different this has the transformative potential to improve soil health increase yield and uh, reduce of course reliance on chemical fertilizers and i also said biochar has more than 60 uses it can be used in road production it can be used to replace concrete it can be used in urban settings to make houses biochar also plays a very significant role in carbon sequestration that can mitigate the climate change which is the password you book to any party talking about climate change and how storing carbon in the soil for hundreds of years now in addition to biochar we have invested heavily on ai ml based precision farming systems now these use a combination of real time data satellite imagery machine learning algorithms etc and i also talked about two waste to energy systems now these are plasma based they're not the typical ones that uh, that are in use today and this is going through its technology maturation level the trl level as we call it the magna gas and the hyperfusion based 
that holds a lot of promise. And also we are exploring the application of quantum science to optimize agricultural processes at a very, very molecular level. For example, we are developing quantum algorithms that can enhance the efficiency of photosynthesis, uh, leading to higher crop yields. Another project involves using blockchain to provide traceability in the carbon sequestration process that can help farmers to track and verify the environmental benefits of their agricultural practices. Now, these were all buzzwords. I've been seeing this on people's websites for the last decade. But practically, when I go and inquire, where is it? There is nothing on the ground. So, you know, we have to do something practical to be of actual assistance to the person on the ground. Definitely, definitely. And you're, you're also, like, the, the, the different thing that you are using, I believe, is you're combining the most uh, important things right now. It's One is technology and science and the other one is agriculture. So you're combining both of them together. And I think that's that's what uh, making TOL very special uh, or very different from the others right now in the agriculture field. Uh, thank you so much for answering that. Uh, now, since you are a part of Agrinext, this question will be a must. Uh, there must have been something that you uh, that drew you to participate in Agrinext Awards and Conference. Um, can you please let us know what was it? It's just a feedback time. Yeah, sure. So, it was actually my desire to contribute and learn from the leading edge of agricultural innovation. Now, this conference, it's a very unique platform. Experts from various fields, you've started your planning almost one year ago, I remember. That's when we first interacted. So how technology, policy, innovation, that can practically address the global challenges and not just another synergy uh, seminar. So I'm particularly drawn to the theme of how technology can enable sustainable agriculture in climate change. Having worked in fields like quantum science, nanotechnology, I believe there are enormous untapped potentials for these technologies to revolutionize agriculture. At Agrinext, I personally look forward to engaging with thought leaders, policy makers, innovators, to see how we can collaborate because no single person can take this journey forward. It has to be organizations, it has to be organizations like yours, which have come forward to create a complete synergy between all of us. Additionally, I think the conference it provides an excellent venue for us to share our successes and challenges, learn from others in the industry, and also refine our own uh, approaches. Yeah, it's 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 in the heart of um, Dubai, so I think that that makes it uh, more special. Thank you so much for answering that. Um, and you have been uh, like you have been a part of this journey from starting. It's it's been a one year journey so far, and the kind of response that we've gotten and the kind of people that we've onboarded, I think it will be an event that we were looking forward to and that we were expecting from the starting. So hoping for the best. Um, and again, speakers like you, people like you, companies like yours are making it more special. Um, <clears throat> now let's talk about future. Let's talk about um, the main reason we are having this conference, the main reason um, you are joining this conference. Um, what, where do you see yourself and TOL in coming 5 to 10 years from here on? Yeah, excellent question. So our focus on the next decade, because if there's no plan, if the ship does not have a destination, where does it go? So our strategic goals, they focus on scaling our innovations globally and deepening their impact in regions we currently serve. And one of our primary goals, as I explained, is to become a global leader in biocha production, making it an integral part of sustainable agriculture in different markets. Uh, I've done a lot of research on how to integrate biochar, that is ours is premium engineered biochar. In fact, several research papers we have written on what makes this biochar so different. This can improve not only soil health, people's health, it can reduce water, uh, you know, uh, water is something that is very, very precious. Just 3% is fresh water and out of that 3%, uh, nearly 2.8% is stored in the glaciers. And practical fresh water available is just 0.3%. It's very little. And another goal over the next decade is to expand our EIML precision farming platforms. We are investing heavily in R&D uh, to enhance these system capabilities, making them more accessible 
because you talked about challenges you know major issue we found was resistance to change the farmer you know it's the typical bug they are very afraid to own something on a computer based platform they are very happy with what they do with their hands so that was another resistance to change that we overcame the variable we did we connected with them bonded with them understood the problems and then we slowly said how we can make a difference uh, how we can optimize their yields how these blockchain systems can provide greater transparency it seed to fork i mean a person buys the product even before it is sold and lastly i think our aim is to strengthen our collaboration with governments and international uh, organizations we want to partner with governments ngos private sector leaders and implement uh, to transition to sustainable agriculture our goal is not just to innovate but to ensure that these innovations are scalable practical and beneficial for all the stakeholders involved yeah yeah shows shows how you've like the the kind the the response that you've given shows how straightforward you are with the mission and and the goal that you're seeing from uh, from here on to next 5 to 10 years and i i hope the best for you and for the company um the kind of journey you've had the level of um success that you guys have uh, achieved um i'm hoping for the best and i know you guys will achieve it very very soon um thank you so much uh, dr reji for joining this one for our audience if somebody's uh, looking to connect with dr reji uh, the first option is we have his uh, page our website page or speaker page on our website you go through it and every detail the email address the linkedin id and also different ways to collaborate are mentioned there so feel free to reach out to dr reji from our website or you can just simply uh, reach out to, to reach out to him on linkedin for collaboration for networking for knowledge for experience uh, that's that's um, um it for now dr reji and and sign off here uh, thank you so much for joining this one it was a pleasure talking to you Thank you so much man my pleasure to be here and thank you so much thank you have a good day bye 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 bye